Dad muscles? Come on. The dough needs to rest for 10 minutes. So my strategy is to get the pasta out of the way and then get my boiled egg going. <laughs> Timing is essential. I'm going to cook my egg for five minutes. The egg has to be perfectly soft boil. I would say probably around five to six minutes on the egg. I'm gonna boil my egg for exactly six minutes. And you gotta remember also, once that egg is out of that boiling water, you make sure you right away cool it down with ice cold water. You gotta shock it. Kimberly, you had a lot of experience making pasta? No, this is actually my second time. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty nervous right now. I'm going to push through it, and, you know, there's no challenge I can't overcome, and I'm going to overcome this one. Well, Kimberly, stay focused, and to be surprised what can happen. Thank you, Chef. My future is riding on this dish. I'm the single mother. I'm here for my daughter. Ten minutes! You only have ten minutes left. Come on! If I make a soft boil egg for my daughter, it doesn't have to be perfect. But here, it has to be perfect. Oh, shit. Oh, man, Kimberly just broke her egg. Did she break her egg? Yeah. Doesn't want to peel. It's coming apart. Hey, is mangling her egg right now. This egg is just not wanting to peel. OK. OK. Be delicate, Taya. It is a nightmare. I'm thinking I'm going home. It broke. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on, one. Heads up! I think we've made it extremely hard on these judges. We all have all the components. It's really going to come down to those minute details. Hey there, Taya. Chef Michael. Your egg is not the prettiest. has a little crack here. Yeah, Chef, it does. Do you struggle getting that shell off? I put it too long in the ice water bath, and then it made it difficult to uh, peel afterwards. Let's see. Oh, my god. That looks perfect. <sighs> Thank god. Right, Taya. Is that uh, beginner's luck? I knew I needed it about five, five and a half minutes. I took it out at five and a half, and fingers crossed. Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Thank you. The color is jet black. It looks beautiful. It's deep. There's almost a sense of mystery to it. Do you really think you belong in this competition? I certainly have my doubts. I only ask because if you continue to cook this way, you certainly belong here. Oh my God, thank you so much. The noodles are perfect. You can tell they're handmade, they're very tender. Oh, I needed that. It's excellent. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Come on, you can do it. Bring it to a gentle simmer, add the cornstarch, keep stirring and whisking until it thickens to that perfect pastry cream consistency. Whisk. To stand out, I'm going to do two different types of pastry cream. Hey, how are you doing? Um, I'm doing pretty good, I think, for time. I just want to make sure I bang my flavors out. So what are those flavors? I'm going to do an almond pastry cream and a lemon as well. You got two separate pastry cream? Yes, chef. Mmm. Good. It's the right texture. Perfect. Nice and smooth. Make sure you get all the flavors right. And at the end of the day, Te, you cooked a lot and you have surprised us a lot. I want to keep doing it, Chef. That's it. That's the attitude. Thank you. I want to do something a little bit different. So I see the matcha powder. I'm being very careful with the amount I'm adding into my pastry cream. I don't want to overpower the dish. Trevor. Hey, Chef. How are you doing? I'm well. More importantly, how are you? Uh, very stressed out. Why are you stressed out? Uh, I'm not a baker, man. This is hard for me. 
How are you going to customize this Milfoy? Uh, so I'm going to do a matcha pastry cream uh, with a blueberry reduction. Blueberries, green tea. Have you had that combination before? I have not, but I'm going to do my best, and hopefully it's enough for you guys. Are you worried this might be the end of the road for you? Quite possibly could be. I hope not. Well, time is of the essence, so I'll leave you to it. Thank you, Chef. Look at Matt. He's got that hustle on. Feeling pretty good about the pastry dough. It's not overworked. It looks like it's the right consistency. Matt is so fat. Let's do this. Look, look, Matt has got his fighting bandana on. <laughs> the dough's done, and it's so wet. Alicia's now rolling her pastry, and it's sticking like crazy. I'm freaking out inside, but I have to keep calm and composed. I have to keep my stoic face on. If all her other elements are absolutely delicious, it could compensate for that poor pastry. Don't open the oven. Trevor keeps going in and out of his oven, checking his pastry. Every time he opens that oven door, he's losing valuable heat. It's almost like he's second-guessing himself. I'm not happy with how it looks, but I'm hoping I can present something that relatively looks like a milfoy. We can see Taya piping way down here. My milfoy is coming along really well. I am assembling it perfectly, and I am in the zone. I am rushing this plating like I've never played it before. This is the fastest plate I've ever put out in my life. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, hands up! Proud of myself. I'm really proud that I pulled it out. I'm really proud that I have something standing on that plate. Walk me through your Milfoy. So I have a blackberry Milfoy with almond and lemon pastry cream, and then I did a raspberry coulis. Overall, it looks pretty decent. You hear that? Yes, Chef. That's the right sound. Oh, God. It's crisp. Mm. Taya, this is next level. Oh, my God, thank you so much. I like the consistency of the cream. Delicious. Thank Amazing. you. Thank you, Chef. <sighs> wow, that's a fine-looking meal floor you have here. <laughs> Thank you. You use two creams, right? Yes, Chef. So you have some almond, you have some lemon. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. You know, I didn't think it would work, the almond and the lemon, but it works together. Perfect marriage in between that blackberry, a bit of texture and a bit of freshness. Pastry, very important, you nailed it. You know, you were a little bit down at the beginning. It doesn't feel good always having to cook because you feel like, you feel like you're at the bottom. I tell you, you're not getting any sympathy point from me. This was not made by an underdog. Every time you cook in this kitchen, you get better. Remember that. Thank you, Chef Alvin. The judges don't think I'm an underdog, so I gotta stop thinking I am. I'm gonna, you know, be ballsy and do a pasta. It is incredibly risky <laughs> to make a tortellini in 45 minutes. God. But if you play it safe, you may not get noticed. <sighs> oh, I always forget it's such a bloody workout. You have 20 minutes left. 20 minutes. So short on time, which seems to be my downfall. I am very much under the gun. Man alive, why did I do this to myself? How do you do this every week? This is a lot of stress. I haven't even stuffed my tortellini yet. I don't think I'm gonna finish. No. Young Taya. Hi. Wait, what's going on? I'm making a tortellini. So I've got like a ricotta sausage, um, and then I'm gonna do a peach sauce. But I'm running out of time right now. You all right, remember those ribs only take a couple of minutes to cook. Only tip I would say is remember when you're doubling this pasta up. 
swirls in the water. Right. So just maybe question thickness of pasta. Right. But don't freak out. OK. Don't Thank freak you, out. Chef. Be confident. I'm going to try to do a couple thinner ones. Take what he said. And hopefully I don't hyperventilate. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands and up! Woo! Woo! All four judges have been observing throughout the challenge. They now take one final look before selecting the three most promising contenders for a spot on the menu at Jamie's Italian. The last dish we'd like to taste was made by a home cook who took a big risk, and it looks like it paid off big time. One more person is getting called, and it needs to be me. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It feels like I just won the lottery. It better be good. <laughs> I did a Indoya ricotta stuffed tortellini with white wine peach sauce and warm peach salsa. Oh man, I can't believe you're gonna eat my food right now. <laughs> Let's do it. Ooh. I mean. For me, it looks cute, it looks pretty, but then you eat it and it's like, bang! Big flavor. <laughs> You've got the big smoky flavor of the andouille and the lightness that kind of comes with the ricotta. And then the sauce, I've never had anything like that. I like the introduction of peach. And actually across Italy, they use peaches in many interesting savory ways. So good job, girl. Very impressive. <laughs> The filling is, it's good. The sausage has that heat component, and the peach just cools it right down. But I think the sauce is a little bit heavy. But the dish is very ambitious, and you're showing that you're here to push yourself. Yeah, Chef, I am. Great work. Thank you. I had no idea if these flavors would work, and they did, and Jamie Oliver likes it. They were all really good, and they're actually very different dishes, which is great to see. I 100% feel like I've got this. This dish would be a great addition to the menu at Jamie's Italian. I think all three of these could easily become fantastic appetizers on the menu. I definitely don't see myself as the strongest here, but I'm learning that I might actually be stronger than I think. It was one of those three that I felt was just a little stronger than the others. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. All I want to do right now is win this challenge and get my dish on Jamie Oliver's menu. So I think we made a decision. The stakes are huge. All four of us loved what you served, but one appetizer stood out above all others. Jamie, will you tell them which dish will be appearing on your menu? I had to choose one that I think people will keep coming back for. And the home cook that made that dish was... Taya. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! This is crazy. I'm going to faint. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a home cook from Vancouver, and now my dish is going to be on Jamie Oliver's menu. Wow. Jamie, thank you so much for being here. It's been a privilege to have you. My pleasure. You were amazing, guys. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. Big love. Take care. I'm like this close to a panic attack. There's just so many freaking components. This is neck and neck. Both May and Taya are starting their candy floss at the exact same time. Come on. <sighs> you got this. This cotton candy is just so frustrating. It won't go as fast as I want it to. And I have like a million other things to keep doing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is intense. I mean, both Taya and May are going at full speed. It's freaking chewy. Hi. I've never worked with liquid nitrogen before. I know it's cold. It's really fun to be taking these kiwis out and smashing them. And that's a lot of stress, though. <laughs> 30 seconds! You have 30 seconds left! The palms of my hands are sweating right now. This is crazy. If they make it, it'll be by the skin of their teeth. 
Let's go, ladies. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Wow. Woo. Incredible. Man. Whoever wins this challenge better kill it and get top spot because she definitely deserves it. <sighs> How do you feel you did, Taya? I think I did really good. A couple small things. My cotton candy got a little wet, so it's shrunk a little. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. It looks good to me. Well, at first glance, it looks as if it's only partly cloudy. A little bit of sunshine, too. Let's make it rain. I gotta say, pretty beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna try the sponge cake along with a little of that passion fruit reduction. The sponge looks really nice. I see you've got some pineapple in there that has a nice golden brown color to it. Thank you, Chef. The pineapple, absolutely delicious. Thank you, Chef. And your passion fruit reduction, nicely balanced. But I do find the sponge to be a little sweeter than I'd hoped for. It's a balancing act. Sugar in the sponge, sugar in the reduction. Overall, it is incredibly impressive to see you pull a dessert like this off in 60 minutes. <sighs> Thank you, Chef. Thank you. There's so many components in this, and they all need to come together. This all comes down to the fine details. Did you only make one? I did. I had no time. Hmm. Well, let me tell you, it is perfect. <sighs> Thank you, Chef. You're either really lucky or you're crazy. Yeah. This is incredible. Thank you, Chef. You know, Taya, I don't know what is more impressive, this dessert, or how you have transformed yourself in such a short period of time. I have not seen that level of confidence in you yet. You've proven to yourself and everyone here that you belong here. Thank you, Chef. Taya and May, you both pulled off an incredibly difficult dessert with just seconds to spare. You should both be very proud of yourselves. You've given us a lot to talk about, so we need a moment. How do you even make that decision? Uh, this is going to be difficult. This is vying for that third spot in top three. So expectations continue to rise. I've come this far. I've worked really hard to be here. I'm not ready to go yet. There were more than a few errors, in my opinion. But there were some really amazing things on those plates. I don't want this to be the last time I cook in the MasterChef kitchen, because this was such an amazing cook for me. And I'm just going to keep getting better. All right, let's go. Unfortunately, only one of you can join Barry and Trevor in the top three. As you both know, this was a replication challenge. So we had to get very specific in assessing each element on your plate. In the end, one home cook just inched ahead when it came to flavor and execution. And that home cook is... Taya. I knew it. I love you. Thank you. Well done, Taya. You've made it into the MasterChef Canada top three. Thank you, Chef. Please join Trevor and Barry in the gallery. Is 
It feels so good to be walking up to this gallery because I earned it. I have not been sitting up in the gallery watching other people cook. I have cooked my way to top three. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. The pork that Taya got, now that's a big joint. It has a bit of a fat cap to it. The bones are there. It's very difficult to get the cook right on pork. You really want it to be moist and tender. Need to get these cooking. My first element of my dish is going to be pan-seared pork chop. Second element is Brussels sprouts. And I'm also working on pork schnitzel on a bed of spatzel. My mom is German. I've got a lot of German background in food. I haven't made schnitzel in years, so I might as well use it. Hey, uh, Chef Alvin. You got the pork. Yes. I mean, the schnitzel, does that reflect your family background? Well, yeah, my family is German, mm -hmm. so we used to eat a lot of schnitzel growing up. OK. Who do you think you're going to face in the finale? Um, I think I'll probably end up facing um, Trevor. He's creative, he thinks outside the box, and that's what you need to get into the finale. Good luck. Thanks. 30 minutes, Jeff. 30 minutes left. Your protein, three distinctive ways. One of the great techniques with chicken is taking the skin right off the bird and then frying it very, very slow and low. He's burning it right now, though. There's black smoke coming out of my skillet. I go and check it, and it's all completely black. I just burnt one of my three elements. Are we watching Trevor's hopes of getting into the finale go up in smoke? Heya is actually from a German heritage. She is working on her spetzel, very sort of German-inspired dumpling. Cooking with her family heritage. I think that's really smart. Everything's on the line right now. I need to make sure I can get everything done. I have grown so much in this competition, but being in the top two, that's going to be life-changing. Five minutes left. Three protein on that plate. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to plate my dish. I go with this cast iron on a wooden board. I'm loving it. Barry to cook the beef one single way. Is that really achieving what we'd asked? Hopefully those sides and his steam takes it to the next level. I'm not going home today. It's so big. Maybe I'll put the schnitzel on the bottom. I'm trying to make everything look a little bit tighter and cleaner, but I ain't got no time. Two minutes, just two more minutes left. Two minutes, come on, beautiful plate. Oh, geez, I think Taya's just burnt herself. Jeez. Ow. Just gonna have to push through that pain to get through this. All I can think about is my hand. It hurts so much. Oh. Works burn. She's gonna tough it out. I wanna fight. One minute! You have one more minute left! Ow. One of you is going home, and two are going into the biggest battle of your lives. Oh. Ten, nine, Five, eight, eight, seven. seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up! Wow. That was a very exciting cook. And now it's time to see how you hold it. Hey, uh, please come and bring your dish to the front. Good luck, sweetie. Thanks, Barry. I know my flavors taste good, but I have no idea if it's going to be enough. I made a pork schnitzel with spatzel, a pork chop with a blueberry red wine reduction, and then I took the trimmings and sauteed a bunch of Brussels sprouts. You know, when I look at this dish, I have a lot of doubts. The only thing that can save you is if this dish tastes a lot better than it looks. Yeah. You may have cooked yourself out of this competition. The only thing that can save you is if this dish tastes a lot better than it looks. Wow. This tastes amazing. It's spatzo. It's delicious. I like the fact that you decided to put a different starch on the dish. Here's the thing, Taya. It just looks hideous. When you get that rare opportunity and privilege to cook in a finale, you have to do things that are going to blow everyone away. Do you think you have that in you? I know I can do it, and I know I can blow people away.
Yeah. I'll be very honest with yeah. you, okay? It's not the prettiest. So, you have the blueberry. First thing I see, the coconut pork. Okay, is that what you wanted? I wanted it just to have like a hint of pink to it. Wow. You have to cook right on. But not only do you have to cook right on, I think season-wise, it's on the dot. You know, sometimes it's what's inside that counts. <laughs> All right, Trevor. I'm feeling like a winner. This is a finale-worthy dish. I prepared a romesco sauce, crostini with the chicken breast, crispy chicken skin, and crispy purple potatoes and uh, chicken drumette glazed with pomegranate molasses and honey. Looks beautiful. Doesn't mean anything if it doesn't taste good, Chef. Absolutely. Delicious. Thank you. Wonderful texture, the peppers, the almonds, olive oil, and it has great depth of flavor. A great utilization of this wonderful chicken. Thank you, Chef. It's amazing to see how far you've come in such a short time. I don't know how it tastes, but the way it looks, it's world class. I noticed you burnt the first batch did, of yeah. chicken skin, but you saved enough to get through. Very smart. It's delicious. Where's all the sauce? There's almost none here. There's a small amount. I guess I could have put some more on there for you, Chef. I'm glad you didn't. The sauce is not balanced. It's very acidic and harsh. This looks great, but it's not a winner. Three big dreams hang in the balance. We're gonna need some time to consider this. This is a finale, a lot is at stake. We have to choose the right two. I'm a good cook, and I'm a creative cook. I belong in the top two, and I hope that comes true. We were looking for innovation, technique, creativity, always taste. And we found all of it. Unfortunately, not in one person. I want this so bad. This is going to change my life. I know that I belong in the finale. You know, to want it is one thing. Everybody wants it. But do they have the skill to deserve it? I don't have the best dish, but I've grown more than any other home cook here. I deserve to be in the finale. Each of you impressed us in different ways, but only one home cook embraced the spirit of this challenge and showcased their protein in a beautiful, eclectic way. And that home cook is... Trevor. Congrats, man. Well done. I did it! I'm in the finale! Yeah! Come and get your chef's jacket. Wow, thank you very much. You deserve it. This chef's coat is exactly what I wanted to achieve coming here. And now I'm wearing it. Looks good on you, son. Thanks, Daddy. I'm forever grateful. This is one of the best moments of my lifetime. Well done, Trevor. Yes, Trevor. Proud of you, boy. Good luck, sweetie. You too. Now, to find out who Trevor will be competing against in the finale. Barry and Taya, you surpassed nine other finalists to get where you are right now. It's so difficult to say goodbye after everything you both achieved. But only one more home cook can make it to the finale. And that home cook is... Taya. <laughs> Congratulations, sweetie. Please take off your apron and come and get your chef jacket. I feel like I'm having an out-of-body experience. I'm actually going to be in the finale. There are so many people who would die to have this spot, and I am here. I battled my way, 
And I'm now at the top. 